What is up you guys, it's your buddy Upshaw, and today I'm going to bring you what I think is the best rifle currently in the Battlefield 1 beta. It's definitely a personal favorite for me, this is excluding any of the pickup class loadouts, obviously, obviously some of those things can be pretty OP, especially looking at the cavalry class, that thing is absolutely insane. But getting into it guys, what I think is the best rifle in the game is the Mondragon Marksman. And right now during the Battlefield 1 Alpha for the last day, or sorry, not Alpha, Beta, but for the last day of the Beta, they've actually unlocked every single gadget and every single gun in the game. So now's your chance to try out a gun that you haven't had the chance to grind to unlock. And for a lot of people, they've been kind of neglecting the medic class, so here's your shot to try out some of the higher end medic guns. So, let's get right into it. Why do I think the Mondragon Marksman is the best? And a lot, that's, a lot of this has got to do with versatility. Overall, I value versatility in a game like Battlefield so much because you get into so many different engagements. In Battlefield, you can be at sniper range. This was a really awkward encounter here. I don't know, like the guy was inside the other guy. Um, I didn't know that was a component of the Battlefield. I don't know if it's going to be T for teen or M for mature after that little scene. But anyways, carrying on. So, why do I think... The Marksman Mondragon is the best, and it comes down to how you can use it in so many different situations. Like I said, Battlefield is long range, it's close range, it's all over the place, and you want to have a gun that can at least do something in all those situations. And the Mondragon, well, let's just say it's got your back for pretty much anything the enemy throws at you, that, with the exception of tanks, but it can cover pretty much anything with regards to infantry. So. What makes it so good, specifically this configuration? So, the base Mondragon has some of the best accuracy and damage in the, like, medic kit class. It has 50 damage, which basically means that you can 3-shot body shot people at any range, as long as it's to the body, and you can 2-shot headshot at any range. Now, while you might be thinking, well, I would love it to be a 1-shot headshot, really, that would be way too overpowered, especially with the fire rate of this gun which is another really, really strong attribute of the rifle. It's got this obscene fire rate. You can, you can just spam rounds down range, and they hit fairly accurately. There isn't a huge accuracy penalty to spamming rounds, and that, again, is just the strength of the Mondragon because it doesn't suffer from a huge accuracy penalty when you're throwing a lot of rounds down range, and that just makes it great. And it makes it so you can actually beat assault players out who are rocking PDWs in close quarters if you come around a corner and happen to land all shots on them really quickly. You can actually come out of situations where you wouldn't think you would succeed. You can come out of those alive and on top. Now, another thing that I like about this configuration, obviously, for one, is the scope. It just kind of makes it easier to hit targets at range. And it's not too much magnification so that it kind of throws you off in the close quarter scenario. But it also has a bipod. And bipods are so drastically improved in Battlefield 1 in comparison to Battlefield 4. I mean, they really, really locked it down. Battlefield 4, the bipods, and Battlefield 3 as well. Pretty much every Battlefield before this... The bipod mechanic has been really clumsy. Nobody ever really used bipods because it just it never really worked consistently. Oftentimes it would get you killed and you had to stay completely still to use your bipod. Now what happens is the bipod kind of automatically drops when you go up to a window or any surface where the bipod could deploy. You don't have to go through any animation. You don't have to press L2 or press scope in to get your bipod to lock out. It just does the trick. It just it just works, man. And it's so great, and it adds another level of accuracy and steadiness to your shot when you're using this dank-ass rifle. Now, for that reason, you're best going to succeed with the Mondragon when you're posting up in cover, kind of sticking to areas. I mean, this is a good idea and a good way to play Battlefield anyways. You always want to be kind of hugging cover, but look for routes where you can, you can sort of sneak up on the enemy, but also have a spot where you can plunk that bipod down and get those extra accurate shots. It just really helps you out and also gives you somewhere to dive behind to give yourself those quick heals, keeping in mind that you're actually using the meta class when you have this best rifle. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you out. We do only have one more day of the Battlefield 1 beta, and it's unsure as to what's going to happen to the Mondragon in the full release. Pray for no nerf, because this is a fairly high skill rifle, albeit it is pretty awesome in good hands. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, smash that like button down below. It really helps me out. And if you want to see more Battlefield and gaming-related content, subscribe to the channel. Peace.